All I'm saying is this leads into, to be honest, I get the complaining and I get all this stuff, but I don't, I kind of don't want the handout. Me personally, I mean, whatever. Everybody else can get it. I don't want the handout of now you have to hire somebody black. Like, I don't want that job if y'all not going to hire me because I'm fired. Same. Same. Now, I, don't, I don't want the handout, but I, I'm not going to say I'm going to turn it down. No, no, no. Oh, I was just about to say that. You got it. You got it. Hey, your opportunity come, your number call. You better get on that court and shoot. You better shoot. <laughs> but all I'm saying is we can't be complaining and at the same time still play the game. What I mean by that is 76% black or a little bit under 80, whatever it is, um, players, uh, let's do a lockout. Let's do a player lockout. Y'all, y'all, a lot, it's, hey, they do a lot. If it's that serious, if it's that serious, let's lock it out for a year. Go let, mouth. let all white people play and let's see who tune into this motherfucker. Go mouth. Here's the problem. They won't even lock out for their own rights. No facts. No, that's, no, <laughs> I know. I know this will never happen. Well, bro, the NFL, bro, they, when the when the uh when they did the last uh CBA, most of the players didn't read it. Most of them didn't vote. They got mad about it, and they care more about getting uh less drug tests than they did about getting um getting li- uh insurance for life. Yo, that CBA was so wild. Nobody even paid attention. The owners was like, "These stupid ass motherfuckers. They signed this shit. We we <laughs> lit. Like it was so dumb." That everybody just caught on to like, oh, let's do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, more oak. I'm gonna get this money, whatever. Max contract, whatever the fuck. Just same with the NBA super max and all that. Anyway, we you cannot complain when you're not willing to stand on real shit. You cannot complain. That's all I gotta say. Exactly. You know, speaking of somebody who stood on some real shit, Colin Kaepernick. You know, he stood on what he believed in, and he's never gonna play NFL down. I don't know if y'all saw, but he's going to be an honorary captain for the uh, Michigan uh, spring game. What's up with Jim and these fucking publicity stunt-ass moves? First, he's doing – and which, look, as a player, I think it was cool that he did the shit he did in Italy. You know what I mean? Him doing yeah. – them Once going the and, and doing their summer camp and stuff like that, like that's dope. Like that, it's exposure for them because you know if they don't, the they left their hometown. Who's this, well, and who's to say too that they get to go to Italy or uh, whatever? But he still just does a lot. I don't know. Jim's a Jim's think about Jim came out and was just like the NFL wasn't for me. It's just like no, Jim, the Vikings didn't want to hire you. They just, <laughs> he the job, and I thought that he was going to get the job too. Just like I'm sure he thought he was going to get the job. He just didn't get the job for whatever hey. reason. And that's that's a good point because take the skin color out of everything. If you is a trash coach, Hugh Jackson, use a trash coach, and you don't need no job. I'm sorry, you better not coach my team because we going 0 and 16. What well, now? 0 and 17 round this motherfucker with you. Hugh got he took two bad jobs, man. He took two bad jobs. What you think was going to happen? But, but 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 here's the thing with Hugh. He wasn't just bad. He was historically <laughs> bad. I mean, this come on, man. What are they, in three seasons, how many games did they win? They won three or four games. Like two or three. Well, they, went like on, they went on 16. They went one and 15. And then he might have went – or did he get fired midway into the – I don't he know. He got fired midway because him and Todd Haley couldn't get along. He he might have won three games his entire time there. So, I mean, he, there's nothing you can do for that in three years. There was no progress. Oh. All like, black no. coaches ain't good. All no. white coaches ain't good. Like, like my man David Cullen that was with uh, the Texans, like we knew that he got hired just to get fired. But yeah. at the same time, like I, saw, I, I actually saw some fucking – considering they didn't have Deshaun Watson, there was progress there. He, there yeah, was. he gave Davis Mills a chance. And maybe, and maybe they didn't think that he was head coaching material because, hell, he'd been in the NFL for 30 years and never was one. <laughs> he which wasn't a coordinator. It, or it could be that he was black. I don't know. It, it, there could be a lot of factors on why he had never even gotten a chance. Um, hell, Bears coach, he was another lifer in the NFL. Uh, Fangio, he was yeah. a 30-year coach too. Dick LeBeau never fucking coached in the NFL. He was never a head coach. And 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 in that Texan situation, they're like, well, you know what? We got Lovey on staff. He knows about the progress that's been made. He's a defensive guy, which that was where we kind of could hang our hat more on this season then our offense, our defense was a little bit better than we expected. I wouldn't know. I didn't watch it. In order to make a breakthrough, you got 
I love these black coaches for even taking these, take every shitty job because you have to, because we can compare this to the 40s, 50s, 60s. We taking less money to do the same job as the others. So just in order for 30 years down the line to get to some type of medium, you got to do it. It got to happen. If you want to operate in somebody else's house, you got to play by their rules until we can get some level, until you get enough people on your back to level it out. That's just what it is. I don't, all this complaining, you got to go through it uh, or or make your own league and shut it up. How about I, but, but you know what? That's the problem with where our society is going now is that people want to go in someone else's house and tell them how to decorate it. And like, nah, bro. Baby. You can't come in my house and tell me how to decorate. If you want to play in my house, you have to play by my rules. And again, you can push back on my rules if you have leverage. But understand at the end of the day, I can tell you, no, bro, no, no. And you have to accept that. 